Hi and welcome to Page Plus X8. In this quick start tutorial I'll show you how easy it is to create great looking publications all the way from start to finish. When you open Page Plus you'll be greeted with the Starter Persistent. From here you can start a new publication or customize a professionally designed themed layout template. You can also access recently opened publications, view the latest learning resources and tutorials, and keep up to date with breaking Serif news. Today, we're going to look at creating a business brochure, starting with a design template. To begin, click the Templates button on the left. From the list of publication types, click Brochures and then choose a theme for your publication. In this example, we'll use Kitsch. If you want to, you can select a different colour scheme from the drop-down list. You can also uncheck any pages that you don't want in your publication. Then, click OK. The first time you create a publication from a design template, you may be prompted to enter your user details. Page Plus will use these details to personalise your publication and stores them for you to use in the future. To add your user details, first highlight the text in the dialog, then enter your information. When you're happy with your user details, click Update. You can always edit these later if you need to. OK, you can see that your brochure has now appeared in the workspace. Let's start customising it. On the right is the Pages tab. Double click a particular page to display it in the workspace. To add a new blank page, click Add Page and your new page will appear before the selected page in your publication. If you want to delete a page, simply select it and then click Delete Page. Click Yes in the dialog. You can use master pages to apply the same underlying page design across your publication. On the Pages tab, click Master Pages to open the Master Pages window. Then, drag a master page down onto a page in the Pages window. When the cursor changes, release the mouse button. In Page Plus, there are a range of assets that you can use to personalise your publications. You can access these from the Assets tab on the left of the workspace. The assets are split into categories. Click on a category's name to view the content within it. This content is in the asset pack of the themed layout that you chose in the Starter Persistent. Select the content that you'd like to add and then drag it out onto your page. You can then reposition and resize it as required. To add assets from any other asset packs, click Browse at the top of the Assets tab. It's really easy to overwrite placeholder text with your own text. First, we'll look at editing the brochure heading. In the Pages tab, double-click on the first page to display it in your workspace. Next, double-click on the main heading and then type your text. You can also edit paragraph text. To do this, let's navigate to page 2 and then triple-click a text frame to select a paragraph. As we did with the heading, simply start typing to replace the placeholder text. You might find it helpful to zoom in using the zoom slider at the bottom of the workspace to see the text a little more clearly. For further editing, click with your cursor to set an insertion point in the text and start typing. Alternatively, double click a single word and then type to replace it. Now we'll look at adding pictures to publications. You can do this via the Assets tab. Select the Pictures category on the Assets tab and click Add at the bottom. Navigate to your photos, select the ones you want to use and click Open. Next, navigate to where you want to place your picture. To add a picture, just drag it from the Pictures category onto the page. 
You can then resize and rotate your picture as required using the corner handles. You can quickly add stylish effects to your pictures from the Effects tab. With your picture selected, expand the Effects tab by clicking its tab name. This is presented vertically to the right of the workspace. To apply an effect, click the Enable Disable button next to the name of your chosen effect. You can then adjust the effect using the controls or typing values below. You may find that your template includes picture frames indicated by empty placeholders which you can fill with your own pictures. To do this, simply drag a picture from the Asset tab's Pictures category onto a picture frame. You can use these buttons below the picture frame to change the way that the picture is positioned. The background of this photo isn't wanted on this page, so I'd like to remove it. This can be done in Cutout Studio, a dedicated studio environment which is perfect for cutting out photos. With your photo selected, click the Cutout Studio icon on the Picture Context toolbar. You can then use the circular cursor to paint over areas which are to be discarded from the picture. I've accidentally discarded too much of my picture, so I'll select the Keep Brush tool and paint over the areas I want to keep. When you're happy, click Preview to have a look at your cutout, and then click OK. Before we finish, let's have a look at creating new publications from scratch. This offers more design freedom. Today, we'll quickly create a business card to complement our brochure. To begin, click New Publication on the left of the Startup Assistant. In the Page Setup pane, select a publication type and page orientation. In this example, we'll use Small Publications, Business Cards and choose Wide Business Cards. The blank page is now displayed in the workspace. First, we'll add food-related graphics to start our business card design. On the Assets tab, click Browse. This is the Asset Browser. To search, type food into the search box in the top right corner and then press return on your keyboard. Select a thumbnail from the displayed search results and then click close. Your chosen graphic will appear in the graphics category. Drag it onto the page and then resize and position it as required. Repeat this process to add other graphics and build up your design. To add backgrounds, pictures and other assets, simply choose a category from the left of the Asset Browser. A business card would not be complete without contact information. If you updated your user details when creating the brochure earlier in this tutorial, you can insert these now. From the Tools toolbar on the left, click Standard Text Frame and drag a text frame out on your page. From the Insert menu, select Information, User Details. Select one of the entries marked Business from the list and then click OK. Continue to add the rest of your user details and then format them to match your design. If you haven't already entered your user details, you can do this by clicking User Details on the Page Context toolbar. It's important to make sure that your company name really stands out on your business card. Select the Artistic Text tool from the Tools toolbar and then click where you want the text to start. You can set the style, font, and point size of your text on the Text Context toolbar and choose a colour from the Colour tab. Finally, type your text or alternatively add your company user detail. To give your text a polished finish, try adding an outline from the Line tab. 
OK, up to now you've been working on a PagePlus publication, a .ppp file. To share your finished document, you'll need to publish it as either a screen-ready PDF for sharing online or by email, or high-res PDF for printing. To begin, click Print PDF Preview on the standard toolbar. You may be prompted to change your printer's sheet orientation to match that of the brochure. If this is the case, click Yes. On the Imposition toolbar above your page, click Scale to Fit, then click Publish as PDF. Now you need to choose a profile which will depend on the environment in which you want to use your PDF file. WebNormal is a good choice for screen-ready distribution and PDFX1A is ideal for print shops. Adjust these additional settings if you need to and then click OK. Choose where you want to save your PDF file and specify a file name. When you're happy, click Save. Well, that's all for this tutorial. I hope you've enjoyed exploring the basics of PagePlus. To find out more, see the Learn section of the Startup Assistant. Thanks for watching.